Away from the health sector, the West Africa Examination Council, WAIEC, has questioned a report authored by the Africa Education Watch uh, on the 2020 WASI exams, insisting that no questions were leaked to students. The Africa Education Watch alleged last week in a report that WASI questions were leaked to students as well as personal contact details of examiners, which the education think tank said was leaked from WAIEC's IT department. But the council, in a news briefing earlier today, said the report from the think tank exposed its ignorance on how it conducts affairs. YX says the Africa Education Watch did not engage it prior to putting together their report in order to come to a proper conclusion. Agnes Tekuju is head of public affairs at the council. Aspects of the methodology that Edu Watch used raised issues of credibility and fairness. The council is baffled at the fact that although it is a subject of the report, Edwatch did not engage the council in order to be better informed about what its processes and procedures are before coming to its conclusions and making its recommendations. According to the report, that is on um, page three of the report, the identities of informants are withheld and subject to non-disclosure. The compelling reasons for non-disclosure in research include threats to the security of informants, risk of human rights abuse, and cultural or religious sensitivity. And we ask ourselves, which of these is applicable in the instant case? Why would African Education Watch refuse to disclose the identity of informants and state in its report that the identities of informants are withheld and subject to non-disclosure. During last year's WASI, there were no actual questions that were leaked. On leakage of the personal contact details of examiners, Wayek insists that although it occurred, it's unfortunate and it has put systems in place to ensure uh, that, or it put systems in place to ensure that that leakage did not affect the outcome of the results. The council, in its press release of August 19, 2020, acknowledged the unfortunate circulation of a yet to be finalized version of an examiner's list for the WAS School 2020 on social media. The said circulator list, unfortunate as it was, did not include the critical information regarding which scripts the examiners would be marking, etc. The council indicated then that it had initiated investigations into the development and assured the public that steps incorporated in the marking exercises over the years ensured fairness. These steps which were and have always been rigorously adhered to are one, swapping of scripts across regions. Scripts were swapped to ensure that scripts originating from a particular region and those from nearby or contiguous regions were not marked in that region. So if you attended a school in the greater Accra region, your script is not marked here in Accra Neither is it marked at a region close to Accra. So that is the essence of um, swapping of scripts. And even when we swap the scripts, we don't do it wholesale such that we know that every script of a candidate in, in, in Greater Accra is being marked in a particular region. We, we, we distribute some of the scripts to one region and another to another region to ensure that um, they're, they're, you, you, nobody can tell where the scripts are being marked. 